Hey ladies and gentlemen, here's the second half of section 5.2 for everyone who missed that class because of the assembly. This is really going to help us uh, make sure everything gets done in tomorrow's lesson. I want to start off by saying don't freak out about how intense this whole reaction looks. What we need to do is try to figure out the two species that actually are changing, actually that are losing or gaining electrons. And we can rule out almost every one of these things by just following those simple rules. Look for peroxides. So there's nothing here that's like H2O2. There's nothing here that's like diatomic, like O2 or H2. And there's nothing here that's a metal with an H. So because none of those are there, every O and every H in this redox reaction is not changing. Which means the only options we have is the S to the S and the CL to the CL. Now it's like every other question we've done in the first section and um, the little review that we will start off with tomorrow will, will show you this. So for us to find the oxidation number, we got to see how the S's are changing and how the CL's are changing and then see what's oxidizing and reduced. So if you're going to do it first for SO2, SO2 has a charge of zero. So S minus the four from the two oxygens, because oxygen is minus two, has to add up to zero. So S has to be plus four. So I'd write plus four right there. The SO4 has a charge of minus two. We're solving for S. There are four O's, four times negative two is minus eight. And that whole thing has a total charge of minus two. So something minus eight is negative two, that S has to be plus six. So if S changed from four to a six, S is getting oxidized. It's losing two electrons. Now let's do the same for the chlorine. I'll change color. ClO3 has a charge of minus one. We're solving for the Cl. There are three oxygens. Three times negative two is minus six has to equal negative one, that chlorine is plus five. And this CL is all done for us already. It says it has a charge of minus one, so we just believe it and say it's minus one. So plus five to minus one, that charge is being reduced, it's getting smaller, so there is your reduction. So once we eliminate those three tricky types of scenarios, you ignore the O's and H's. They're not going to change unless you see one of those compounds in your redox. The notes underneath here just go through that. Feel free to read it if you like. Let me do one more. I realize this is all done for you as well, but I want to I go through it one more time on this video. So first off, I'm looking through this entire redox reaction and I'm saying to myself, there are no peroxides, there is nothing that's diatomic, and there's no metal hydrides, which means all the O's and all the H's are not changing. So what is changing? The CR to the CR has an option, and the carbon to the carbon has an option. I'm ignoring all the coefficients out in front. None of those matter. That's just mole ratios for balancing. So if I'm looking at CRO4, I've got minus 8 from the oxygens. CR minus 8 equals negative 2. That CR has to be plus 6. And the CR here, I'm, I'm looking at OH. That's polyatomic. I know the whole charge of that is minus one. I've got three of them. Has to equal zero. So CR has to be plus three to counteract the minus three from those OHs. And from six down to three, that's reduction. Looking at this for the carbon, I've got H is a plus one. H is a plus one. O is a minus two. All those add up to zero. The whole thing has to be zero. So C has to be zero. Because 0 plus 1 plus 2 minus 2 all equals 0. Doing this again, I've got plus 1. I've got minus 2 and minus 2 is minus 4. The whole thing has to equal negative 1. So that C has to be plus 2. Plus 1 and 2 is 3. Minus 4 is negative 1. So 0 to plus 2 is being oxidized. Now we can go ahead and fill in these blanks. You can pause it here and fill those in. 
We are going to start class tomorrow by doing this question. If you want to start it now and try to have it dialed in by tomorrow, that's great. Rule out all the O's, rule out all the H's, and you're going to find that MN has an option of changing and the C's has an option of changing. Ignore all the coefficients out in front and just try to find the charges of the MN's and the C's and see how they go. See you tomorrow, everyone.